What's up, Ninja? Today we're going to go over Leap Motion device and like how to calibrate it if you're having issues with it. Because I've heard a lot of people say that they're having tracking issues or that it's not working for them. So we're just gonna go over like what I do to make sure that it works for me. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to uninstall any tracking software you have. So for this instance, we're going to talk about VC face. So VC face, you have to make sure you uninstall it and then you can install the leap motion Gemini. This is like the latest software. So go ahead and download that, install it like you normally would. It is going to ask you to make an account, but it, they don't send you spam. At least they haven't for me. So just make an account. So once you've downloaded it, you're going to go to your bottom right corner of the screen right here. It's going to show if it's connected or not. So ultra tracking device connected. If this isn't appearing, that means your leap motion isn't even connecting to your computer. Like your computer is unable to read it. So it's important that you install the drivers. Once this is connected and the dot is green, go ahead and open the visualizer. Once you open the visualizer, you can see exactly what the leap motion device sees through the camera and it's like this. So automatically it likes to use desktop. Uh, you can see the top, it says desktop. I don't even know why, whatever. You can see the very top, it says tracking mode desktop, press V to switch to head mounted mode. So I personally have found out that using the tracking from your shirt or like your chest area is the most accurate along with using it on top of your head. But in this instance, I print out these shirt clips, which you can just, you know, clip onto the collar of your shirt. And then it has the Leap Motion device hooked onto it. So, sorry, the dogs are in the background. Hey, shh, quiet. Press V and it changed this to track mode to head mount it, which is what I want. So now the tracking is going to be the most accurate that I personally can get with my shirt clip. Another way they use it is screen top. Uh, I believe that means it's attached to like your monitor facing down. I'm not sure. I don't use it. But again, head mounted is the best tracking that I've experienced. Obviously, if you want to try using desktop and you put your leap motion device on your desk so that it's like it's like down here and it's seeing like you're from up here, whatever, try that out. But from what I've heard and what I've tried, it's not that great. And your hands kind of like disappear from the desk, whatever. Just uh, hit V to change it to head mounted and just like this and that's it. So after this is done, you're done with this. Like this means it works. Hey, stop it. That means your leap motion. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, it means your leap motion is good. It's tracking your hands from like your head mount slash shirt clip. And now from here, you can go and install VC face again. So now that VC face has been reinstalled, you're going to want to hit track leap motion for it to actually, you know, start tracking. And from here, you're going to mess with the leap motion settings. So you go to settings, leap motion, and this is the window that you need to edit. So depending on the way that you want to use it, go ahead and click it. But like we did in the visualizer, we're going to do for chest. So chest fix kind of just means nothing's moving. So I personally just use chest so that it gets my whole range of my arms and everything. And these are my settings, like I don't mess with this, this should work. I believe this is like the basic default settings that I was given. So this is what I have, use it. If you need it, go ahead and copy these that I have. And yeah, we did the visualizer, did it for the chest, we went to VC face, did it for the chest. Now everything is, everything's good. You should be good to go. This should work. If it doesn't, I, I think it's a leap motion issue. I really don't know from there. So hopefully you don't experience that problem. So that's about it for this tutorial. I will link below my store where you can buy these leap motion clips for your shirt. It's $19 for the clip with free shipping for the US. It's $20 shipping for internationally just cause international shipping is garbage. Sorry about that, but I really hope that this tutorial helps you get your Leap Motion device working properly. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends if this was helpful, and comment below if you want to see another tutorial in the future. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!